Hello, guys. Am I one of the others? I think you're lost. I might be lost. I think lost. you're completely <laughs> lost. <laughs> or are you guys Hydro lost? Island. I'm coming Wrong for show. you. <laughs> so, hello, everyone, and welcome back. We're back again. Storm here. Tom here. Kimmy here. We are starting season two, guys, of Lost. And Ooh. holy crap, what a finale last time. That was insane. I yeah. feel so bad for Walt. I know. I know. He's a... Uh, that poor the kid. The what do they want with him? That is just well, incredible that they would kidnap. Yeah. It's like it's, they want to make their own generation. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm just assuming because he has some kind of weird power that they want He does. He, he is a special kid. He has premonitions. Mm -hmm. I hope Sora is okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, everyone, like, every. I mean, yes, and I'm glad that Jin jumped right in to help him, and now they're, like, stranded out there without any, I mean, they might have debris still there where they can hang yeah. on, but how far the out are they? done for. Yeah, so hopefully they can hold on to some debris, and the current will bring them back in and not farther out. That's awful. Incredible. I mean, I really hope they all just Incredible. didn't die there, because that would really, really suck, because they're awesome people, and then freaking Walt's father, I love Michael, like... You know, that would be mm. terrible. I mean, poor Walt. Like, what is he going to go through now? What are they going to make him do? Oh, it's okay. We just adopted you. You're part of our family now. It's <laughs> okay. Or are they going to, like, yeah. do experiments on him? Because they have so much mystery on this island. You know, so, like, what mm -hmm. will they do to him? Right. And all along, everyone thought it was Claire's baby. I mean, even Danielle thought that, it was. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they're driven by the island to get Walt and the baby? Or do you think um, it's their own thing that they're doing? I really think it's the island. I'm so convinced the island it's the is island. so bizarre. Of course, it's the island. Look at what's doing to Locke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this episode is called Man of Science, Man of Faith. We heard that last I don't know time. Who those are. <laughs> what? Right. So, Jack and John. J mm -hmm. and J. <laughs> hey, two Not different good. beliefs. It is interesting, though, because I see both point of views. Like, I'm about facts and science, but. Faith can help you as well, but I also find that dangerous. I don't know. So I'm like Locke having faith in the island like that and then getting challenged and getting pulled down by that monster. Like he was even scared for a moment and then he was like, okay, no, it's trying to show me something, but it's taking you into a deep hole that you don't know. So yeah, maybe that's deep. the point. Maybe it would like bring you into heaven or I don't know, but I'm just like, or I wouldn't hell. trust that. Yeah, it's <laughs> dragging you forcefully. I'm like... <laughs> If you see it from like Jack's point of view, though, he doesn't know all the things that the island has done for Locke because Locke doesn't seem to tell him. Yeah, you know, he doesn't even know that Locke couldn't walk. Yeah, yeah. before the I mean, crash. that's still a you know. I don't know why they don't communicate with each other, but you know. So coming from Jack's point of view, it's like, you know, what are you talking about? He probably thinks he's some crazy old man, you know. And yeah, yeah, it's so hard. I mean, I just wish people could communicate. That's what makes it interesting, but. You're like, on this mysterious island, I mean, the first episode, you knew there was some kind of monster moving the trees. You were hearing mechanical noises mm -hmm. and roars and weird things like that. And everyone's just like staring like, oh, that's not normal. I would have been like, yeah, the pilot God, was taken. what the freak is that? Let's get guns. <laughs> and I'd be like, not relaxed to be like, okay, well, as long as we're on the beach, it's okay. Like, I would constantly want to know what that is. I wouldn't go looking for it, but I would definitely try to defend myself in some way. Well, and... Some of them have seen it already and they're not telling like, anybody. Why? what it is yeah so yeah. In something, so many secrets yeah something so bizarre as that i would talk about everything i wouldn't hold back any secrets you want to be on the same page as everyone i mean you're getting to know everyone too you don't know if anyone's like a raging like crazy person or you know like here yeah, there have... is some distrust in, within the group yeah <laughs> and especially like not knowing them from the beginning you know, like, oh, well, you want to keep your own secrets, I guess, because you don't know what they're going to do with the information. But still, like, it's so bizarre. You're all together stranded. I would want to communicate <laughs> with everyone. Yeah, definitely. Like, hey. Especially if you see something dangerous. Yeah, because most people who saw the monster up close, like, yeah, didn't say anything or even, like, running from it and hiding. Oh, well, you know, there is something evil in the island. So when you're out there, try to go in those little trees, and it seems to stay away from you yeah, when you go in there. Because some go people might buddy. be like... Or some people might, like, try to, like, hide just, like, in the plain grass, you know, like, out in the open. Because if you get scared, you don't know if it can see well or something like that. And if you just go into panic mode, people might just, like, fall on the ground and just try to stay still. So if you go, like, hey, if you see this thing or if you hear this thing, go hide in the thin trees. Remember, like, all the gatherings? I, I'm always, like, they oh, should, yeah, like, know. Oh, yeah, bamboo, yeah. Yeah, they should know, like, 
where those things are located because there seems to be a lot of them. So that way that will be like base. Like that'll be your safety place to go. But how do you get into those things very easily? Because they're really, they're really tight. They seem to just squeeze yeah, in. Just, or they just yeah. find the best way to or go in. Or you can in, just, luckily. you know, cut some down because they're always using it for like shelters and stuff. Ah. And they made the, they even made the raft with a lot of that. Well, I'm under. surprised that they don't have like a better like, defense at the caves and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, mm. it doesn't even seem like the they camps. have really, yeah, any kind of security for themselves. Yeah. I love the show. I love the mystery, but that's like the top obsessed thing I can't stand. Like, you know, I would, um, there's not only knowing. so much you can do, but not knowing, but like, you know, no matter what, that this big monster is killing people up high and low, but like, we've seen the pilot get ripped out. People are not communicating, but the people who do know about it, I'm like, I would want to figure out ways to make barriers, fences, something to mm. help us or to have some kind of alarm system, things that you trip over, make noise and... And that's um, what it is, too. It's a security system, isn't it? That's yeah, that they just learned. Said. But from the beginning, mm. like, knowing that there's some yeah. predator out there, I'm I like, know. I would totally not be there's like, hey. a polar bear. Yeah, there's a bo or polar bears. Like, hello. You know, yeah. I was going to say a lion. The but, hey, there's a bunch of lions the out here. Yeah, so we can just, like, be out in the open. Watching them. Yeah, we're in the yeah. caves and stuff. But, you know, they have, like, great senses of smell. And they could totally find you. So I'm like... Yeah, I would definitely not sleep well knowing that there's no, like, fencing or something to get, have, like, yeah, a barrier. just stay together. Stay with your group. Yeah. And now we've seen this monster. Which I'm still calling it that. But, like, it looks like smoke. It looks like a black cloud, smoke right? security system. It's smoke, weird. Yeah, it's just, just, yeah. I wonder if that is the island. Yeah, I don't know. Because we were, like, kind of wondering... If it's connected to the island, if it is the island. But they all saw that, right? I mean, Jack saw it. Locke obviously saw it. It uh, seems like it. And I want to guess and say, well, maybe they just saw smoke and not really saw anything. But maybe you just feel a presence. But then we have seen overcasting shadows of something. So I'm kind of mm -hmm. like, okay, well, they did see something. It was something solid. Ish. Maybe that was the smoke coming out of the uh, mechanical dinosaur. Yeah, but, ooh, I'm so mad smoke right now. Ooh, <laughs> steam coming out of its ears. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe the whole island is some kind of lab, you know, and there's like, uh, you have these bunkers underground. Wouldn't it be surprised? I mean, you have polar bears on a tropical island. That alone is, you know, could be an experiment. Yeah, like and then what the smoke different environments was trying to pull lock underneath. Yeah. And yeah, so maybe like it's a complete, we talked about that as a joke, but like maybe it's complete underground city of just machines and right like that map oh. that danielle had didn't oh, really make sense i know and then that's the thing too we have science and then we have faith stuff like we have stuff that we don't understand it's weird like it's almost demonic and sometimes not really angelic but like things and, that it, and it is you. weird you can interpret different things that happen differently mm -hmm. even within faith like if something oh the the hatch opened oh that's good that's bad i mean look at poor hurley he's like don't open it the well, number yeah, he saw the famous numbers holy crap ah, right. the numbers those again num those numbers are it's i just want to know where those numbers tie into everything because how come uh, they're so unusual i mean they, they give everyone around hurley bad luck they're printed on this hatch the french girl she knows what's going she knows about the numbers yeah mm -hmm. yeah her and Hurley talked about it, how they are bad, and she agreed with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I want to say, like, it's some elaborate scheme that these crazy scientists knew these people and somehow managed to get them all in the same plane to go here to crash so they could experiment on them. But that's too bizarre and way too far-fetched because we have a lot of faith in this. Like you said, Hurley having bad luck with the numbers and then being connected to the island. I don't think that could have been a coincidence because, I don't know, unless his crazy friend like told him the numbers on purpose, but he was legit scared when he found out Hurley was actually using those numbers. Oh, yeah. Hurley. You know, so I was like, okay, well, that wasn't planned to get him to do all these things to go on the plane and with Claire with her baby with that guy actually freaking out saying like demonic things or whatever like something evil's going to take your baby yes. you know and knowing that you like who take, talks like that you have to take care of your baby solely yeah so yeah. many hints throughout everything and so that was more already of a faith thing mm -hmm. yes man so right. i just take it more and as Walt, like a faith and thing. Walt's telling Locke not to open up the hatch it's bad and even like um compasses you can't really use a compass like poor Saeed. He was trying so hard and like this magnetic, I don't know, there's some kind of magnetic thing going on too. A plane crashed 
There might be another plane that crashed with these others. I don't so know if they came by ship. All or, stuff to crash? And then the ship is also metal. I mean, so who Well, that knows? ship, that's, that thing's been there town. for quite a long time. So that thing must be going on for years. Yeah. a long time. <laughs> yeah. Man, shall we get into this, guys? I love discussing this show, but man, there's like so many theories. And I'm just like, there I have is. no idea. And then the people that dressed up as priests, uh, the smugglers, uh -huh. they crash. Mm-hmm. On the island. Let's hope that uh, yeah, no one then, else crashes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? Like everything starts going well for our group. Like every like the others disappear or something. I'm worried about Charlie with the heroin. Yeah, that Charlie really... with Mother Mary. Yeah, yeah I, I know. I'll crash, have like no. at least one, one, right? You've been doing good for, for a while now. Just to have temptation. So I really feel like everything has a purpose, and to even have that there is another test. Like the island's testing Charlie to see what he'll do. I feel right. like everything has an ultimate test. He, things have been going so well with him and Claire, and you know he's helping her raise the turnip head, yeah. <laughs> Aaron. That's cute. It's so a cute. Aaron. <sighs> All right, guys, you ready? I really do love Let's the do show. Let's do it. Get really into it. I'm ready. Two oh one. Sad face. Yeah. Angry. Is it? Lava lamp. I used to have one. It always looks so gross when you pour it out, but it's good for you. It's so tasty. <laughs> yeah. The explosion. So someone is. I, oh my god! Like an armor. Okay. Holy crap! It's so set up. And that's the big shoot with the ladder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man. Faith and science. Are we okay? I see uh, the freaking yeah, numbers awesome. again. I just have to pee. Great idea, dude. Go look in the burning death hole. Burning death hole. Is that ladder broken? Or is it? does it go all the way down? Let's find out! Who's <laughs> going first? <laughs> okay, Lock, you go first. Lock almost had crazy eyes. Ow! I'm gonna go get the dynamite that we didn't use and we're heading back to the caves. Don't bring the dynamite with you. How about you pack it up, John? If she wants it to. Yeah. Sure. Of course. <laughs> Female, late 20s, no ID. Ooh. Oh! Where's the other one? What the hell is that thing? Oh. He's at the steering column, though. All right, let's go. Keep that collar steady. Oh. Oh, crap. It's going to be just him. Oh. 88 over 52, no radio pulse. I know. I know. Sax flooded. Drop it, come on. He's incredible. Look at that composure. What is she saying? She said she has to dance at her wedding. Oh. Oh, is that Sarah? Why wouldn't I light the fuse? After you're uh, sealing it, you I don't was do it. Towards you, waving my arms, yelling, "Don't do that!" And to save too. everyone's lives. Or maybe it was just our destiny, right, John? Maybe. Who's mm, mocking him, guys? <laughs> Quarantine. Vincent. This is not a good idea. I saw him five minutes ago. Besides, you're the one who said there wasn't anyone out here. I said we didn't see anyone. I can't tell that kid I lost his dog because I was exhausted. Yeah. I hope it's good. It's just perfectly sitting there. No. He wants him to go. Oh, no. He's leading him somewhere? Like Lassie? Yeah, probably to Walt because he's kidnapped. Ah, yeah. That is so creepy. What are they saying to her? <gasps> what the hell is that? A oh. vision. Oh, I got the chills. Oh, God. Is he drowning? Shannon! He said, shh, so you probably want to be quiet. I mean, sure, the others are coming to, like, eat us all, and every once in a while, someone blows up all over you, but we do get to sleep in every morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was in this kind of psych ward, and there's this guy, Leonard, and all he ever said were these numbers, 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. I see the same friggin' numbers on that hatch thing. And that's why I try to stop it, because that thing is cursed, man. And I know that's a, a miracle. Board. I'm not that's crazy. Good I'm side of it? Bedside man. Yeah, that. Your sucks, dude. <laughs> you were in a psych ward? <laughs> like, that's a trigger word right there. <laughs> Say it again. He died in the ER. Hmm. I can't feel anything. Your back is broken. The likelihood of retaining any feeling or mobility anywhere below the waist at 
extremely unlikely. Oh. You might want to try handing out some hope every once in a while. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say that was pretty. Girl. Even if there's a nice time they're utterly hopelessly screwed. Hope. Remember that. Yeah. <laughs> We're all screwed. <laughs> Locke found uh, a hatch in the ground. Where's Dr. Arts? <sighs> Over there and over there uh, and over there. He didn't make it. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna stay here tonight, okay? Together. We've still got four yeah. guns. We'll put lookouts at all the entrances. I promise. A lot to promise. Good, they needed that. Yeah. <sighs> what do you think that's the smartest thing to do right now, John? I doubt it. But me, I'm tired of waiting. I'd be too scared to just wait around, not knowing anything about the others. If I'd stay put. There was smoke out there. I mean, she set the fire. I don't know. But you said but everything's gonna be okay. He said it high pitch. Yeah. But Locke's going into that thing. And if he falls and breaks his neck, we'll have together die alone, right? <sighs> I'm glad she told him, though. Mm-hmm. There will be ongoing physical therapy, but if she works really well, hard... Will, will we be able to, uh, you know, <laughs> make love? Is that what you're worried <laughs> about right question? now? She won't be able to go to the bathroom by herself. Are you sick? Sickness and health, That's buddy. That's why I think I'd be there. <laughs> Closer. Oh. Ah. Uh, I'm the devil. I know I'm not going to be dancing anymore. Oh. You're invited, okay? And you're invited. <laughs> I'm gonna fix you. She's like, what did you just say to her? I expected to find you halfway down there by now. I was waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> Shaft might get narrower down there too. You left out the phone. Yeah. Something. Yeah, well, that too. <laughs> and there she wanted to do it. Didn't expect to go first, but brave girl. <laughs> she really is. What do I say if I need to stop? Stop. stop. <laughs> God, that's so much trust right there. He's losing it. Stop! Damn well, the they flesh have light. Okay, it's right there. Ooh, ouch. Maybe we should. Oh no, he's like, no, you're gonna oh, go okay. anyways. <laughs> Oh, he's all bleeding. Stop! What is it? Stop! I think there's something down! Oh, it's pulling her! Oh. That's the guy. Tug of war. Oh my god, John, you can't do it anymore. I changed my mind. He's got gut Putting instinct. things in it's motion. Nothing. You know, because Kate went, that's the only reason why. Like, if Locke did it, he might, he still might go, but. Don't go down there to check. So he can slide down without chafing his arms or hands. No. <laughs> wow. Uh, and you don't believe in miracles? <laughs> you have to lift it up. Well, good luck, brother. See you in another life, yeah? See you in another life. Can you imagine if that was the guy in the bunker? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, because like it's the same hair, kind yeah. of. Yeah. And from life, I can not surprise him. Hey, everything's good. Have faith. Ooh. Nice and neat. Welcome to my home. It's insane, like a whole underground system. Yeah, it's all set up. Power box. 16. Ooh, ooh it's moving. Magnetic. Can ah, because of the compass. Remember you were saying some kind of magnetic field? Uh, this is <gasps> well, well, good way to distort you. Here he is. Behind you. Holy smoke. <sighs> what? What? Oh. It's like an old computer system. That's my, that's my phone right now. <laughs> Watch out. Don't just, don't just run. Oh, it's John. fine. Where's Kate? What the hell is he? um, Someone's right behind him. Okay. Oh, I was like, why is he not saying anything? Oh. 
Thank you. <laughs> oh, <I really> <laughs> when you run all the steps in every section of a stadium, up and down. Why would you do that? <laughs> um, I'm intense. Fiance. I didn't see him. I'm sure, I'll be back. In yeah, the yeah, mm. yeah, absolutely. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Sarah. Crazy if that's the same doctor or almost doctor. Move and I kill him. There's an accent. Put the gun oh, down. Yeah, the Australian accent. Put it down or I'll blow his damned head off, brother. 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 <gasps> it is him. This is so <laughs> weird. Okay, they're all really dead, and this is just like another dimension. I know. It's like how <laughs> this can't be weird this that they're all connected. It's like yeah, it's like limbo or something, right? It's like, how did he get there? <laughs> yeah, and then he did say, "See you in another life." How that insane! He would know, but that's so weird. Like it's all connected in some odd way. Like that's like the easiest explanation. But like they're all dead, and they're just in limbo somewhere. But it seems yeah. like he's been down there for quite a while with all that. Oh yeah, he set yeah. it up nicely. He's got an old computer, he's got like, um, but newer, like washer and dryer, and I just. Yeah, you saw that first, <laughs> you know, just like blending his shake and, but it looked like a normal light. It looked like, not present time, but it looked like not on the island. And the, he had a power box down there. He had piping everywhere. Like, I don't know if he built all of that or if it was there and he just or, put some Yeah, upgrades. maybe it was there and he just upgraded as he was stranded. But the washer and dryer, maybe it was a cruise ship or something. <laughs> I, I know, out. I don't know. Yeah. It's probably another cruise ship somewhere. Or just thinking conspiracy theorists that unless, as we discussed before, that maybe this is so elaborate where all these people were in on it and wanted these victims from this plane to all go on the same plane. So maybe the doctor, almost doctor guy, see you in the next life or whatever. Maybe he was like part of this and was a scientist or something and was able to, mm -hmm. I doubt almost it, doctor. I doubt yeah, it. It's I didn't like, become a doctor, but I became a... And somehow manipulated things for him to end up going on. I don't know, I don't think so though. It's going on the plane, but then the fortune teller or whatever talking to Claire saying like you have a demon inside you you have to take a flight or whatever he said to make her take that flight like maybe he was in on it you know but I doubt it like it seems like it's just all spiritual or something for them to just ironically all meet up again my question is uh, why does the hatch say quarantine on it I mean he seems like he's quarantining because he's been in there but he why? knew about the coronavirus way before it's time I should have <laughs> laughed about that it's terrible but no but... but and who writes quarantine on the inside of the hatch not on the outside Maybe the outside, you have to quarantine from. You get the virus. Remember, Danielle said her group had the virus, and they went. Cuckoo. So maybe he's part of her group, but then that was so long ago. Would, but maybe know, he's quarantining himself had. from. Like, are they quarantining up above, or is down below quarantining? I think he's probably quarantining from the outside. Like, like yeah, he doesn't like the outside virus. is bad. Yeah. Yeah, and Danielle exposure. said. Yeah, it froze. Make a security system. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you are. I thought you had it. Oh. <laughs> that was good. You guys froze for a minute. I was like, what happened? Sometimes like, I'll stare at one of you guys who was talking, and I didn't even notice you froze. And then I um, looked up, and you were like, phew. I'm, I'm, back. I'm glad you're back, Tom. <laughs> well, I heard you guys talking still. I'm like, you guys froze. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I'm glad we're so connected. That's going to happen sometimes when we we'll lose connection. But To have this guy who said he was almost a doctor now he's in this lab slash quarantine space mm -hmm. down below fully functional is just so bizarre beyond my me i just can't even imagine yeah. they, they but i'm so no glad one. that hurley told jack about the numbers like people are starting to open up shannon has no problem talking about the whispers mm -hmm. like people are starting to and really open Walt. up 
Yeah, so that's good. Yeah. I mean, I know Jack's like, we don't want to scare people or Charlie or someone said that. And I understand yeah. that. You shouldn't say it in the masses like that, but you should at least talk to all the head people there to start. But yeah, like I would be like that too. I'd be telling everyone because everyone should be on the same page. And it's their fault, Jack's fault, Locke's fault, everyone for keeping secrets from everyone because you know them well enough now. I mean, there's still going to be mystery, but if no one's on the same page and think they're safe there, like you want hope, I want hope. But if you're not prepared for the craziness of this island and what kind of bizarre mysteries there are, and you're just kind of thrown into it because there's something really bad going to happen. You need to be on your best game, like survival skills, like top notch. And you're just being told all this stuff. Now, what do you mean whispers? Or, you know, like you're yeah, all until the told. others find out about the polar bear. I mean, a lot of people don't know about that. Yeah. Sure. And now they're going to hear because all this chaos is going to happen or bad things are going to happen. And now everyone's hearing what there's polar bears, what there's a big mechanical monster out there. Like what there's whispers in the woods. And now they're going to start really panicking because no one was even prepared or known about like knew about this. So I think it's worse to not even have the knowledge. Like at this point, everyone well, should be on the same page. Like crap. What does this mean? What does this mean? So they're more aware and. Well, like, Jack heard the whispers, but didn't tell anybody. Saeed heard the whispers, didn't tell anybody. But now Sawyer Shannon did. heard the whispers and said yeah. something. So maybe yes. and Saeed Sawyer's, heard it. Sawyer heard the whispers and talked sure. to Saeed about it, but they did, he didn't really, it didn't he go said, anywhere oh, from what it was we know. nothing. He didn't confirm yeah. anything, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we were saying maybe there were pipes underground that you could actually hear, like, a ventilation system or something, because this thing looks vast underground. Like, maybe there's a lot more people. Maybe the guy's by himself. I mean, it looks like he is. But I would have communicated all of this as bizarre as it is, especially when you start getting more people that witness the whispers that you want people, even though you don't know what it is, at least everyone knows about it. So everyone's not freaking out over five major mystery. Like, that's scary. There's freaking polar bears here. There's ghost whispers, like, in the in the woods. Like, you're seeing Smoke visions. monster. Yeah, because Locke <laughs> saw visions now, and now Shannon has these numbers connecting things. Like, if they all got together and just talked about it, like, a lot of things won't make sense, but at least we'll have some kind of, like, base to figure out, like, okay, well, bizarre start things, you have to together. start, yeah, like, it'll open up people's minds, I think, to be like, okay, well, what's this connection, what's this connection, that's bizarre. But they that. did confirm that Kate saw the smoke that, yes. that was grabbed lock, mm -hmm. so yeah. we at least know that those two you... things are consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's all bizarre, freaky crap, so I'm like, I would totally be talking to the rest of the group and about this. And I think if they did talk about it in length and talk about all the, their experiences so far, I think you'd have groups split up, not only between the beach and the cave, but between Locke and Jack. Like, mm -hmm. who's going to take the science okay, of it and who's going to do the faith? Yeah. And it is true. That is a good point, too, because honestly, with every little thing that's been happening, they do divide into groups a lot. Like when even yeah. with the beach and the caves, like that was a big yeah. thing, too. So I understand that it's not going to be perfect if everyone knows. But um, and I know there will be division. So that is hard. You can't predict what's going to happen. But I just feel like if OK, now they're all hurled together. Are the others going to come tonight? OK, well, Jack's telling us there is going to be a sunrise. I'm happy he's trying to be hopeful, positive to them because he's so facts all the time you know and um, not that he's trying to be negative but he's just telling you as it is but um hope can you know guide you well like it can really help you out but i think if they know the facts you could still be hopeful and be like well we don't really know what this means but i don't know if we put all our heads together we can figure this out it will be okay like you can still say things to make it sound better but i just think it's terrible they're all hurdled together do the others even exist they're just like prey, not knowing, not prepared for anything. And then all of a sudden a polar bear comes out. What the frick? There's polar bears here? Like no one's even prepared. Like if I knew that, I would probably be sharpening sticks and just have like some kind of I weapon. I would have done from the beginning. Yeah, I would have had like a ton of them. But now like if you're oblivious because you're just trusting these main people that are lying and not telling you anything, like you're going to be defenseless and stupid, you know? So I'd rather know certain things. And now Shannon coming in hearing the whispers and, and you know, we had four other people or so that have also heard them and now she's coming in looking crazy because now she's like yelling all this stuff and now people are going to get panicked because it's scary like you never heard of that before even so anyways, even like, son is panicking because shannon's saying she saw walt oh, yeah. and she's mm -hmm. worried about Jin. you know what happened are they there are they alive you saw roll. him are they was back he, when she saw him Ooh, he was uh, so he was soaking crazy. wet right and he's yeah, and he's and he's telling her that, to be quiet so i'm wondering if Vincent, you know, the scent of Walt is trying to lure them to get to Walt. 
Yeah, I agree. I really think Vincent, because he is a loyal, wonderful dog, and a lot of dogs are loyal, you know, that mm -hmm. the island must like him. And he's like Locke in a way where he's accepted by the island. He can sense things going on there and he kind of guides. He's like a guidance system like Locke is, you know, like he knows uh, what to do and he follows faith in a way, like instincts or something to, um, you know, or maybe smelt Walt. But just to wait for Shannon to find him, then take off. Yes. to send her into the woods. Like, I really feel like he's part of the island too now. Like, he has a connection and instincts are guiding him now through the islands. And Yeah, and his, go there. and his owner is Walt. And yeah. Walt has these premonitions. He's got this sixth sense, so to speak. So, yeah, it, it could very well be part of the island. You know, this whole thing is all intertwined. I mean, there's so much going on that's just so unlikely that it's not a coincidence it's got to yeah. be it you know i mean the only thing other like i can think of is if that other guy the nice science guy i keep calling him science guy but the guy who was almost a doctor um yeah. like unless he was on the same plane and he didn't know it like that's ironic too like what a small world but that would make more sense because if he was just there for some other reason like that's too close to home that's really freaking bizarre so that's what really throws me off about this whole thing. And what if he knows a way off the island and he went to recruit people for the island? Like he went to locate Jack yeah. and somehow you know, lead him to Australia. Very well could be. I mean, look at that washer and dryer. It's brand new. <laughs> Darn that washer and dryer. people all the time. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, it looks like a whole underground thing. It might not be just like we were saying, not just like a simple big bunker. It might be like huge well, and network throughout the entire island. What if um, he was one of the well, like, chosen one, like if he was a kid or something and he was chosen, that's why he's quarantined in this underground bunker and yeah. he has to go recruit people. Maybe. Bring, that's why he got like Jack to come to the island. Because you know, he could travel wherever way. in the world and be like, oh, well, you maybe he has like a sixth sense where he knows like who he needs to bring back. What if that was um, um, Alex? What if, that's, what if that's her kid and he's all grown up now? He was a chosen one back then. Maybe Alex is on it. And then yeah. that's why they're getting Walt and uh, Aaron. Maybe they're going to wind up in that bunker, too. Yeah. So much mystery, guys. I don't know. But, yeah, like being quarantined underneath there. And, again, like he met Jack. And, yeah, so is he, like, super involved from the beginning to guide all these people over? Yeah, and or? he could be a Jack down below. He can be, like, a Jack, the leader of a group. Mm-hmm like the people that took Walt. Yeah, and, these and maybe poor, they were on the plane, and, too, because we never saw the end of the plane, right? So right, maybe we never saw Rose's husband. <laughs> yeah, we I, never see Rose anymore. I don't think he all. was on the plane, though, because he's pretty well established down there. Yeah, he looks like it. He, yeah, looks like... he has all the weapons. He was using the computer before. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was exercising. So that's what throws and... me off. Like, yeah, so it would have to be that he um, helped all this happen and made Jack take that plane, take that flight. Yeah, and, it's mind -boggling. and is there another hatch or the, do they just, you know, seclude him down there and just bring provisions for him? What if the computer controls the uh, the mechanical dinosaur? Yeah. It's got to. Holy That's smoke, a good point. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> if they have cameras down below, too, they've got to have cameras up above. It's like Hunger Games, you know, they can watch everything. They yeah, have like that's, the you know, that was the feeling I had right when we started watching this was yeah, like the like, Hunger Games kind of they're thing. They're not, you know, they're not playing the game correctly. So let's like do violent things to them and like <laughs> they'll send polar bears after them and uh, set fires or whatever. <laughs> Man, I don't know, but it's so freaking bizarre. That's why I love the show is so much mystery. And it's like, what the freak is going on? So anyways, it's guys. Kind of like the Truman Show. That's they're the all on a show and they don't again. realize it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Instead of just one person, it's like everyone, oh no. <laughs> and the Hunger Games. So it's like the Truman Show and the Hunger it. Games mixed. <laughs> God. So I think we'll talk more next time, guys. This is so like entertaining. Yeah, we Crazy. can just go. <laughs> We can just on keep on, on going on and on. So, guys, we do have a store now. If you want to check that out, any merchandise you buy, um, it's on the it's bottom here. So you can click a link. And anything you buy from our store um, really helps out the channel so we can create more content for you guys. Whispers, whispers, the freaking whispers give me chills. It's so scary. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon as always. Bye, guys. Bye. Please subscribe. 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 Buy stuff. Buy stuff. Buy all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs>